Hi, I'm Sean with NV Homes. In today's video, we'll be talking about seasonal maintenance for your HVAC system. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult your owner's manual for complete instructions and safety information, or seek the advice of a licensed professional. Your heating and cooling system is often referred to as your HVAC. For this video, I will refer to them as the inside and outside unit. When we are done, you will see examples of changing your air filter, cleaning the P-trap, and confirming your AC is working. So let's begin. To conduct the maintenance, you will need the following items. A container, a funnel, replacement air filters, and a P-trap drain brush. To begin, you will want to turn off power to your inside unit. Oftentimes it's a switch, but can be a disconnect depending on the model. If you are unfamiliar with disconnects, we will be talking about them later in the video. Once the system is powered off, you will want to locate the filter cover. Please note that some homes have filters located throughout the home and not at the inside unit. When it comes to the frequency of changing your filters, you might need to change it more often when you first move in. However, after three to six months of living in your new home, we recommend you follow the manufacturer's recommendations. When installing the new filter, always make sure that the arrows point towards the system. It is also a good practice to write the date on the filter that it was replaced. Remember, it can't hurt to check the condition of your filters outside of the normal changing period. If the filter looks dirty or clogged, go ahead and change it. It's well worth the extra money to protect your HVAC system. Make sure when installing the filter, you place it between the guide fins. If you have trouble getting it in, make sure one of the guides is not in the way. You should never have to force a filter into the holder. It should smoothly slide in and out. Here's an example of a filter located away from the inside unit on an interior wall. You could also have one located on the ceiling depending on your house type. When replacing these filters, always make sure the arrow points inward towards the filter housing. The next thing we need to do is clean the P-trap. This is very easy to do and just requires the right tools. Here you can see the P-trap brush, a regular funnel, and a container filled with warm water with one cup of bleach. You don't have to use bleach, but if there's any growth in the line, it helps kill it. There are many different ways of cleaning your P-trap, but all should have the same result. When done, the drain line from your HVAC unit should be free of debris or any obstructions. Start by placing the brush head in the opening and slowly insert it into the pipe. You might want to support the pipe with your other hand as you work it into the bend of the pipe. Slowly move the brush in and out, scrubbing as much of the pipe as possible. Next, you will want to flush the line with the water solution you have in your container. Go back and forth between scrubbing and flushing until the line is clean. When cleaning the P-trap, try to get any area that dirt can settle. This would be the horizontal areas of the pipe. If possible, try to work the brush back towards the inside unit. Next, turn the power back on. Here is an example of a clear P-trap to show you what is happening in the line. Notice how there is a cloudy substance at the bottom of the pipe. Once water is added, notice how the substance is flushed out of the pipe. This is what should happen when you clean your P-trap. The last step is meant to see if your AC is working. This should be done on the first warm day of the year. First, go to your thermostat and switch to the AC mode. Then, turn the temperature down four or five degrees below the current internal temperature of your home. This should signal to your system to engage your AC and start the cooling process. 
After about 15 minutes, go to a couple supply vents throughout your home and feel if the air coming out has a slight chill to it. It should not feel warm. Once this is confirmed, go ahead and switch your system back to the desired internal temperature at the thermostat. If you want a more robust inspection of your system before the summer months, or don't feel comfortable with some of the steps we reviewed, then we recommend you contact a local HVAC company to schedule this seasonal maintenance of your system. Thanks for joining us today and be sure to check out some of our other home maintenance videos.